a painter who lives in Wimberley, Texas, um, right on the Blanco River. I'm very much influenced by my environment. Um, I'm influenced by the oak tree, um, the grandfather oak tree that's right outside my studio. I'm influenced by the foxes and the skunks and the raccoons that make a pathway through my yard to get down to drink. Um, I'm influenced by the sky um, in the hill country. It's got a really different edge where the hills meet the horizon, where the hills meet the sky. The horizon is a, is a different kind of a quality than anywhere else I've seen. So I'm very influenced by the nature around me, um, the beauty of the Blanco River, and um, the environment of other artists here in Wimberley. My process is a little different um, from most painters in that um, the work that I do happens when I start painting. Before I paint, I kind of try and empty my mind of any preconceptions of what's going to turn out and just work on the piece itself. And as I go along, the piece kind of tells me what to do. Like this pour um, is a certain way, so the next one would be this way. Um, so it's like building something, the whole product once I start. Some people think about it a lot um, before they begin, but that's not the way I do it. When I empty my mind and choose a color and just begin, then what happens in that empty space in the mind is everything that I've seen and my reactions to it begin to come out in the piece. And that's what I want. I want it to be a accumulation of the things that I've seen and the experiences that I've had. So all those work together to make um, a painting. And you always have to leave room for something to be different or unexpected because it's always gonna happen. Um, you're always gonna think, oh, I'm gonna paint with green today, but the painting turns out to be mostly red. And that's kind of the joy of it, that it's never the same. And anything that I do can never be duplicated a second time because I'm never in that same space um, in time a second time. It's always uh, an accumulation and a reflection of my experiences. So it's kind of like a potter. A potter begins a pot and does the whole process in one session and my paintings um, work like that too. I'll start the process and then maybe turn it, work some more, turn it, work some more, and work it until it, it feels like it's done. Um, and once it's done, then that's it. I just step back away from it and it's, it's ready. Today, I decided I wanted to use green, and the reason was because it's spring here in the hill country, and you see lots and lots of different colors of green. You see the, you know, your normal old green, and you see your yellow green, and the darker green, all the colors. And so those are, those are what um, imprints on my mind, what's around me. Um, and I think it's real important for me to be here in the hill country um, because it's really all the nature and the animals and the community and the other artists stimulate me um, to paint, uh, especially the things that are just right around my house. 